guys, this is Brandy with another tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you all how I edit an image from start to finish using Adobe Camera Raw uh, only. Uh, this tutorial is full of valuable information, but if you are wanting to skip ahead to a certain topic, you can find the topics and the times at which they start down below in the description box. So yeah, let's not waste any more time and let's get started. Okay, I already have my image opened in Adobe Photoshop. Um, the reason my image didn't open right into Adobe Camera Raw is because I imported it from Lightroom. So if you have a raw image and um, you're going to, say, import it straight from an SD card or from your file folder, it should open right into ACR. But if you're like me and you imported it from somewhere else, such as Lightroom or Bridge, uh, I'm just going to show you how to get it into Adobe Camera Raw. So the first thing you want to do is you want to duplicate your background layer by clicking Control J. And now I want to convert this for smart filters. So you're going to go to Filter, Convert for Smart Filters. Now the reason why I converted it for smart filters is because after I've made the changes in ACR, I want to be able to go back and, you know, make adjustments if I have to. So converting it for smart filters allows you to do that. So now you're going to go back to filter and go to camera raw filter. Automatically have you in the basic module. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do all of the basic adjustments that you'll normally do in Photoshop or Lightroom. So what I personally do is I start to I start with my temperature. I warm it up a tad. And I'm going to add in some magenta. There you go. And I noticed that my exposure is a little overexposed, so I'm just going to take that down a little bit. Okay, and so now I'm just going to up my contrast, just so that things will pop a little bit more. I'm going to go back to my exposure and change it to... Um, let's just do this. Okay, so that's all that we're going to do in the basic module. Okay, so next what I want to do is I want to enhance her eyes a little bit more. Um, her eyes are absolutely adorable, but I just want to go in and enhance the catch lights in her eyes as well as sharpen her eyes a little bit more. So to do that, we're going to go over here to the adjustment brush. And then make sure you have new selected. Um, it should already be selected for you. So I'm going to go right here to the drop down menu and I'm going to click on reset local correction settings. And that's going to just reset all of these little sliders here. So I'm going to start with uh, the catch lights. So I'm going to up my exposure a little bit. And I'm just going to zoom in by clicking control and the plus sign on my keyboard. And now I'm just going to start painting over the catch lights. So now if you go back over to the exposure slider, if you go down, it gets very dark, go up, it gets very light. So I'm just going to enhance it a little bit by lightening it and about I'll say 0 0.15 would be good enough. Okay, so next we're going to click on New. And now what I want to do is I want to just sharpen her eyes a little bit more. So I'm just going to put a 0 right here on the exposure. And I'm going to go on down to the sharpness and up it. So I set mine to 10. And now I'm just going to go around her eyelashes. Uh, her eyes. There we go. Now I'm just going to zoom in to see how that looks. And right here it says overlay. To remove these little overlay thingies here, you just click that. And that looks great. Okay, so now I just want to 
get rid of some of the blemishes on her face. Um, she's a baby. She really doesn't have many. But I just noticed like a little slob right there in the corner and this little speck on her cheek. So we're going to do that by using the spot removal tool. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Uh, make sure the type is on hill. And my feathering is at 100% and my opacity is at 100% as well. So now I'm just going to click right here where I see this little speck. And I'm just going to move this green one down a little bit. I'm just going to up the size a little bit more. Okay, so over here where I see the slob, I'm just going to do the same thing. And that looks good. I'm just going to go on and remove, you know, the little, uh, probably like scratch marks or whatever on her face. Okay, now I'm just going to zoom on out. So I'm going to go back to my adjustment brush. And what I want to do is the yellow slash oranges that I see up here, uh, I want to enhance those a little bit more. So I'm going to already have new selected and I'm going to up my yellow a tad. And then I'm just going to set my magenta a little further than my temperature. So I'm just expanding my brush. And now I'm just going to paint over. Right here where I see the highlights in the grass, I'm going to do the same thing. Now I want to make the greens a little bit more vibrant, and I might just darken it a tad as well. So I'm going to click on new and I'm going to set my temperature at zero and my tint is going to go down into the negatives a tad. Uh, and I'm also just going to lower my exposure just a little bit. I'm just going to play with my slider a little bit more. Darken my green. I'll take this to about negative 0 0.15. Okay, so now I want to give it a the image a little bit of a vignette type of effect. Um, I do this to a lot of my images and it comes out very nice. So I'm going to go right here to my graduated filter. And now I'm going to go here and reset local correction settings. So I'm going to go on and lower my exposure. I'll start there. And I'll click and drag. There we go. If you click right here in the middle, you're able to just move it around. So I'm going to go about right there. I'm going to do the same for the bottom. I'm just going to make the bottom a tad bit darker. And now I'm going to go over here and do the same exact thing. Click and drag. With this side, since the light is coming in from this right side, uh, I'm just going to up the exposure a tad bit more. And now I'm going to do the same for the top. And I'm going to keep it at negative 0.15. So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to increase the sun flare on this side. So you're going to go right here to your radial filter. And I'm just going to make an oval type shape over here in the right corner. So I'm going to click and expand it. 
I'm going to scoot it on over. Yep, about right there is good. And so now I'm going to reset all of my settings. And I'm going to up my exposure. I'm going to up my highlights as well. And now right here where it says dehaze, I'm just going to lower that. It gives it like a glowing type of effect. Oh yeah, and make sure that your feathering is up at 100%. So now I have to go back and up my exposure. <laughs> and dehaze it a tad bit more. And there we go. So here's the before and here's the editing after. in ACR is very much possible. You can do your complete edits in ACR, which is pretty cool in my opinion. Um, to me, ACR is very much similar to Lightroom in a way, um, but it's just a bit more powerful. So if you like this tutorial, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, please comment down below. And if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.